Hi everyone, welcome to my newest video. I had the idea for making this type of tabletop for a long time ago, but until now I haven't been able to find the right piece of wood. As you can see, I started everything by removing several layers with router. In this way I level at the board and then clean at the crack. This is European walnut with an unusual pattern and crack position. These two edges I'm just cutting to make them parallel. The whole idea was to install very discreet lightning inside the crack. What I didn't like about lightning in epoxy tabletops is the fact that it usually cannot be replaced. Also, it must always be plugged in, which means that cables must pass between chairs or table legs. That's why I decided to make my life more complicated and try to find solution for that problem. The only solution that crossed my mind was to install the pipe in crack and later insert lightning into it. The first layer had to be black in order to avoid the light coming from the bottom side of the table. After I installed the pipe, I fixed it with UV epoxy and then applied a clear coat over which I put a cotton wool. The idea was that the cotton wool would act like a diffuser and spread the light through the crack. After that I applied a layer of blue epoxy with white pearls pigment. I did that in very thin layers so that would not completely drown out the light. Finally I added a transparent layer of resin.
since the surface covered by the epoxy is not large, I tried to smooth it with ordinary sanding, but in the end it turned out that I still had to use a rotor. All these tiny holes need to be filled and sanded again after curing. One side of the tabletop didn't have a live edge along its entire length, so I had to create that effect by myself. After shaping the edges I got the shape of the tabletop that I wanted. I like these natural simple lines so I will do nothing more complicated. Polish the surface of epoxy resin, but on the rest of the tabletop I want to apply ruby monocoat essential oil. So I have to protect the epoxy part and to do sanding on these small parts by hand. Before applying the oil, the surface should be cleaned and for that I'm using a Rubio cleaner. After 45 minutes the surface is dry and ready for oil. The components ratio is 3 to 1. few minutes after application, remove excess oil with clean towel and that's it. The 
this is neon LED light wire and have power supply and controller. Work on batteries so there is no need for power cable. You can check for link in description. Thank you for watching this video, please consider to give me your opinion in the comment section below. If you liked this video, consider to subscribe. See you soon.